Hi everyone, it's Jen Houston from the Artsy Fartsy Gallery here in Canada. I'm just playing around with some different technical things here today. So um, when you hop on, say hello. I'm going to be kind of watching on my laptop. I've got my laptop, my iPad, and my iPhone <laughs> all running at the same time. And of course my dogs are barking. So <laughs> let's see if I can get all this straight. Okay. Of course, it doesn't all happen until I press go, you know. <laughs> Anyways, so coffee and cards tonight. We missed uh, last week because I was back in Manitoba. We had to rip back there to uh, get the winter tires on because uh, it was kind of a little iffy. Um, there. Ta da! <laughs> it was kind of iffy in the roads here. We The one day we couldn't even. Um, get out of our kind of driveway and so it was pretty nasty so we thought oh we better get home before November to get those tires put on so we did that but here in Canmore today it was a lovely day sunshine and uh, I think the car uh, temperature said 18 degrees it was awesome I, I'll take it <laughs> so yes so coffee and cards, we're just gonna sit around like with, with our girlfriends here, all chit chat together. So, um, you know, tell me what's happened in your week and I'll tell you what's happened in my week and we'll make a card. Maybe this technique today is gonna be a little bit new for you, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give her a whirl. So I'm drinking, I never drink coffee. I don't know why I call it coffee and cards, but <laughs> maybe there's some other ones that out there that don't, uh, I don't drink coffee at nighttime. I don't know. Donna Graham, hello. How are you? Was it nice in Manitoba today too? So I'm I'm drinking David's tea. It's um, blueberry muffin. So it's a good herbal. I should sleep tonight, <laughs> so that's good. What are you guys drinking? lovely all right well today well actually we'll start with this all week now let me see if I can get this here I'm gonna get her set up oh I think it worked by George look at that and here come the dogs all right, so this week we have been, I, we, I have been showcasing the Spirited Snowman. And it's in our holiday catalog that came out in the beginning of, of October. And if you don't have one of those, let me know and I can send you one. But it is on page 38, the Spirited Snowman. This set, um, it comes in wood mount or you can use the clear box, either or. Um, last week, last two weeks, we were using this Buffalo check stamp and I still love it. If I, I'm trying to like resist use it, using it on every single, you know, project that I have. Um, but then I also bought this shimmer paint down at the bottom here. I bought the frost white, um, because I thought, oh, that'll look so cute on the snowman. And it does, it does. Um, tomorrow. I will be showing you some videos on how three ways that you can use that shimmer paint. So hopefully that'll uh, intrigue you to maybe give that shimmer paint a try. So that's on page 38. So I am just going to pop up here a picture of the project and in the corner as you, uh, the top left hand corner, it has the page number and the uh, number of uh, item number for spirited snowman and shimmer paint the shimmer paint so uh, if I'll give you a moment if you want to write those things down because maybe this will intrigue you to grab these items coming up this week Okay, playing around here. Let's see. Dude, nope. Dude, nope. Yes. All right. So the card we're gonna.
to make today is a belly band card. And if you don't know what a belly band is, it's this little slidey thing that kind of holds your whole card together. And uh, they, I don't know, we used to make them back in the day a lot, but um, I don't know, we kind of stopped for a while. And so I think it's a neat project that we should, you know, get back at because I think it's just absolutely adorable. And this little snowman guy, every time I look at him, he just makes me smile. <laughs> it's so funny. So that is the card we will make. So you slide off the belly band and you open these panels and that is where you can write. So I will show you how this works. So of course I'm going to switch up the colors and everything, but I'm going to show you the card recipe for this belly band card. So we have, first off you need um, colored cardstock. The color I'm going to use today is um, Blushing Bride. So I haven't done any pinks and purples kind of with um, this uh, stamp set. So I thought, oh, let's make some pinks. So I'm going to be using pink. One by, so we need a strip that's one by 11. And then you also need a piece that's four by a quarter, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then if you have the um, oval framelit set, you need one oval that's the third largest. All right, so that's just gonna frame our little cute snowman. And then uh, from the white cardstock, you're gonna need a piece of paper that's cut at three and a half by five, and also one that's uh, five and a quarter by eight. And then you're gonna score it at two inches and six inches. And then the little piece that we're gonna stamp the snowman on is the second largest stitched framelit oval. So he just fits in that little oval. All right, so I'll give you a second if you want to write those that recipe down. And I'll get set up here to get started. Okay, let's get rolling. All right, so first off, I have my um, Whisper White cardstock, the white cardstock that's measured at, um, what is it now? Five and a quarter by eight. And so this is the piece that I'm going to cut, uh, not cut, score at two inches. So, Two inches here and of course the scoring blade is the well, I can't see it is this kind of light brown colored one so just press lightly don't don't go too hard and then I don't know if you've noticed but the oh, I can't see it on there the stamp and trimmer has this arm of course that goes way out so that you can measure bigger projects I have oh, six measure at six or sorry score at six Okay, so we have two little pieces that we're going to, two little panels. And all we're gonna do with that is fold them over. And of course, they're gonna kind of meet in the center. I don't know where I put my bone folder. My office is a mess. I'm gonna take my glasses off because I can, I can, see, oh, I'm getting old. I can see nicely like this. I can't see close up, can't see far away. So it's just, yeah, easiest to go like this. Okay, so there's our little paneled piece. So we're just gonna put that aside and we'll start stamping our little snowman and, and color him up. Oh, boys. All right, so here's my cute little snowman that makes me smile. I'm going to ink it up with black memento ink. It's one of my favorite inks, I think. So just kind of line it up as best as you can. Give it a stamp. And voila. Okay. Get out my Simply Chamois to wipe that off. 
you don't have one of these things, it's pretty amazing. It's absolutely nasty looking, but, but it sure works good. I love it. Okay, I'm going to cover up this memento ink before I stick my hand in that one. And I'm going to do, like I said, pinks and purples. I don't know. Let's go for it. So in here, I've got, what do I got? Pink pirouette. Mm, I think it's probably going to be the closest to um, the Lushing Bride that I've got. And then I wanted to do Highland Heather as kind of the purple color. So I'm going to color up his little tube in his scarf. Apparently I've got two pink pirouettes. So let's see. Oh, that's a big cough. No. Sometimes uh, Janet Frank Shepherd. Hello. I don't know where Hive, did I say it right, is in Alberta, but because I, I just moved here, so I don't know a whole lot of places around here, but welcome. I will look that up after. All right. So here's my little pink pirouette. I'm going to go back and I think I'm going to color in the inside there. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of do the shadows with the darker version. These Stampin' Blends come in um, two tones. So each color comes in a light version and a dark version, which is then you can kind of make it make some shadows where they should be and it just makes your projects look pretty neat okay here comes the Highland Heather this is the light version of the Highland Heather I'm gonna color in those polka dots on his toque maybe it's a her toque I don't know I don't know if there's such a thing as snow ladies and snowmen, but. All right, gives, now I'm going to use the darker version of it and just kind of give some of those things a little shadow. And just under his chin, it would be a little bit darker. All right, I think his boots, I'm going to do Highland Heather. I'm actually going to use just the darkest one. So Janet, are you a stamper? Have you, are you a crafter or? I'm interested to hear about you. All right, there's his little boots. Oh, and I think we better give him his buttons. We'll make his buttons Highland Heather too. All right. I love his little twig legs. Man, I wish he had legs like that. Oops, I need the brown from over here. Hey Sandy, how are you today? Sounds, sounds like you must have been having a rough week. Goodness, that's not so good. Okay, I've got some, what is this? Dark soft suede. I should probably should have used the light version, but too late. Okay, don't forget his little stick legs. And then I'm going to use some Calypso Coral. Yes, you're a demo. Oh, congrats. Nice. How long have you been a demo for? Give him a little nose there, Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to go back with the dark version and just kind of touch a few little spots there. All right. So he's pretty much colored. Now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of shadowing with the smoky slate. Just kind of gives it a little more of a 3D look. Oh, we are in appliance hell right now. Oh no. Yikes. And it always goes, everything goes at the same time, doesn't it? Once I had, it was, what was it? New Year's Eve? The washer went, the dryer went, and so did the hot water heater. <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah, not good. So I hope I hope you're 
your horrible experience passes quickly. Two years and a bit. Wow, good for you, Janet. Yeah. It was my fifth year on the seventh. I love Stampin' Up. Not sure what I would do. <laughs> I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have Stampin' Up. It's definitely, I, it got me through kind of a, a depression and my fibromyalgia that is relentless sometimes and can't do, I had to quit my 20 year teaching career. Um, just, you know, I couldn't keep keep up, couldn't, when you're in constant pain, you kind of just can't do it anymore. So, yeah, um, this was something that I could do. And uh, especially when I was going through my depression, it kind of forced me to um, keep meeting with people, kind of have a little reason to keep going and a purpose. So, so I'm... Uh, I'm a believer in Stampin' Up! for sure. I'm just going to give this little dude some shadows under his feet. There. Now, oh yes, a little bit under his nose. Okay. I think that's good. All right. So I'm just going to set him aside for what her... I'm gonna call him, call her a her. <laughs> that made no sense, but that's okay. Because it's pink and purple, and I think there should be snow ladies too. All right, so bringing back this little piece that's the kind of the panel fold, I am gonna use the little snowflake set, um, stamp from this set. And I'm gonna stamp, no I'm not, what am I doing? Get out the piece that is, I think it's three and a half by five. Three and three quarters by three and three quarters by five. Just a washer and freezer. The washer turned out to be the drain pipe, and the freezer I bought has to go back because it is way too big. Things look smaller in the showroom, I guess. So true. So true. We actually decided to forego our freezer. We um you know how you stockpile and you kind of don't even know what's in there <laughs> that just kind of was happening to us and so we decided to you know let's unplug it and uh, just use the use the fridge one so I'm using blushing bride and this little snowflake stamp and I'm gonna stamp it all over this piece so turn it upside down, turn it sideways, just make it all random. No rhyme or reason to this. Has anybody ever made snowman cards that are pink before? Snow woman cards. Oh, I'm gonna get myself here. All right. Just kind of take a step back and look at it. Is there any blank spots that are saying I need a little piece of snowflake? I think we're good. All right. Good. So that is all covered up. So now I'm gonna take my stamp and trimmer and I'm gonna actually cut this piece in half. So it's going to be at one and three quarter inch. So, and it's done. Okay. Too many things. Oh my goodness. My desk is a disaster. Okay, now we can use our panels. And we are going to actually glue them onto those panels. So, I'm going to use snail tape. run it on there like that. I'm a Manitoba girl too. Are you? What part? Wow. I think everybody else is from Manitoba that's on here right now. 
Um, hmm. And the other side. Oh, almost glued it on the wrong spot. So just kind of line it up in the middle, put her down. There. So our little snowflakes are on our panel piece. The next step is going to be to um, get our pink blushing bride, pardon me, uh, background, and we're gonna glue that to it just to kind of, Thompson, okay. Yeah, that's up north. I, oh man, Thompson, my memories of Thompson. I, when I first got out of uh, university to be a teacher, of course you're desperate to find a job right away. And so there were a bunch of jobs up north and of course I applied for it and got uh, interviewed. So they shipped all us teachers up to Thompson on a bus together, all the candidates. And then we stayed at a hotel in Thompson. And the next day they flew us around to all these little communities. So I went to Cross Lake, uh, my first interview ever. And I'll never forget, they asked me, do you prefer teaching boys or girls? I thought, well, I don't really think of them as, you know, different. I just kind of teach to the mass crowd, but maybe that, that was the wrong answer. I don't know. I didn't get that job. And then next I went to Thicket Portage. Oh my goodness. Um, while they were flying us out to Thicket Portage, the little airplane, of course, those little airplanes, right? And, um, oh man, I was nauseous. And then all of a sudden, we heard this big clunk. And I look out the window, and there's like this black smoke coming out, you know, the sea through the window. And, and, uh, the pilot turns around and he's like, it's okay. It's just the left engine quit. We're going to have to make an emergency landing. So we're all like crying in the back and just like, oh my goodness, we're going to die. <laughs> but we made it safe to I don't know what little community. But then, of course, you have to get back up. There's no time to be scared of flying on these little planes. So we got back up and flew to Thicket Portage and I think it was Cranberry Portage. Can't remember. Anyways, these people came to pick us up in a truck that had no windows or doors. Um, they had no teeth. <laughs> and we, in our dresses, sat in the back of the truck. Uh, in the, the, you know, where you haul your fridge in, you know, that, that part. So we, they drove us to the school and I look across at the tea tridge or whatever it's called and there I can see through the boards into the, the house. So I'm thinking, I'm flubbing this interview. I do not want this job. So I go in there, there's 12 people that are interviewing, including the superintendent of the whole entire division. So I'm kind of like, oh shoot, I can't, you know, can't flub this now. So anyways, I answered all the questions, but thankfully didn't get it. <laughs> but then I went to South Indian Lake and that by then, of course, you've, you know, had a bit of practice with the interview questions and doing a little, a little more comfortable and whatnot. So went there, um, oh, it was a long time there. Hadn't eaten all day, hadn't, you know, and um, sorry, as you can see, I'm just folding this one inch by 11 inch piece around my car to make the little belly band. So I did my interview at South Indian Lake and I knew that I did well. I just, I could sense it, I could, you know. So, of course, on my way, I'm just gonna glue this up. Just kind of mark it with my fingernail where I need the glue to go up to. Sure enough, I get that position. And I'm kind of like, my mom's driving me home from Winnipeg after we got back from Portage and or, yeah, back from Thompson, and uh, oh man, I'm just like, I, I think I'm gonna work at McDonald's. Like, <laughs> before I go teaching up there, I just, I couldn't leave my parents, go out to this community that's, you know, four hours north of Thompson, that's flying, that I don't know anybody. So anyways, I declined the position. 
and um, yeah, uh, all worked out. I ended up uh, getting a teaching job in Shiloh, and uh, things were lovely. So <laughs> that was an experience in itself too. So, <laughs> anyways, all right, let's get back to the cards. Enough about me. Look at all this you stir, all this chit chat you stirred up there, Janet. Ah, needed a drink of, of uh, my tea. Okay, so the belly band is glued and we are going to attach. I'm just actually gonna take it off of the card because I don't want any glue getting onto it. And I'm actually gonna glue it onto there. So, I figure it's about halfway. Put a lot of glue. And I'm gonna cover up that piece that overlaps. See, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way because then I'll be able to see where I put the glue. Hopefully it's straight. We can fiddle with it if we need to. There it goes. All right. Um, the next step I think I'm gonna do is I've got this little winter cheer that I'm gonna actually stamp on the belly band. Of course, it comes with other sayings. There's uh, your friendship warms my heart and love never melts. It's kind of a cute stamp set. Winter cheer. Now that is not very dark at all, so I may go back and uh, do that with Highland Heather. We shall see. Okay, now I'm going to get some dimensionals and I'm going to glue the, put that little snowman on there. You've never been to those places, yeah? Yeah, you've probably heard of them though. Did you leave Thompson as a, a young person or did you live there for quite a while? And there's my little snowman. I really think I'm gonna do something different for this winter cheer, but, um, hmm. I think I'm going to take this off. Good, it worked. And I'm going to get a piece of Whisper White scrap piece. And maybe try and sneak it in like that. Yeah. And Highland Heather. Do you have this uh, step set, Janet? Um, the uh, Spirited Snowman. It's still kind of crooked. Let's try this again. I love that uh, there's always a second side to the piece of paper. <laughs> Let's go. Third time's a charm. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Mistakes too. All right, I'm gonna actually chop that off because we're not gonna need to see that. And we'll glue it over top of our, oops, uh, tape, snail tape. This up, put it back. Just there. That will work just fine. Okay. I have been from Newfoundland to BC with my hubby. Oh my goodness, did, did leave home until I was 30. No, I don't have that set. Oh, well. I don't know if you've been following the Artsy Fartsy Gallery page, but this week I've been kind of featuring this little stamp set, and so I think it's so cute. Now, to jazz this up just one more little bit, I'm actually going to use shimmer paint. It's frost white, so you give it a shake. And all I'm gonna use is 
whatever is in the cap. That way you won't be getting paint, too much paint. And I'm using an aqua painter without any water in it. There, there might be a little bit, but it's not, not going to be soft and wet. So I'm just going to dip the aqua painter into the paint. And let's jazz up our snowman here. I'm just going to paint this right on to the little dude. Girl! Snow, snow girl. Now, I've got too much on his nose. So I'll just kind of wipe some away. I can always go back with the, the black uh, Stampin' Blend and uh, add a little bit of the black back later. All right, on to the chest. So Sandy, how was uh, the weather in Brandon today? I like this shimmer paint. Um, dries fairly quickly, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about it, putting it out for the evening or anything that you have to let it dry. Okay, yeah, I think I really covered its her face too much, so I'm gonna actually go in with uh, my black stamp blend. I don't know if you can see the difference in the shimmer. It's kind of got a sh there you go. See how it's got that sheen to it? just kind of adds a little something special. All right, let's add these little eyes back there. That looks better. And a little more for the mouth. And I might even go on top with that Calypso Coral for its nose. snow girl. Isn't it cute? It's still, you know, wintry and happy and I think it's kind of cute. All right. So if you've enjoyed this uh, little card, um, feel free to or put in an order. I'm a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator and so the way I get paid is by people placing orders or by people sharing um, my website with other people that they think would like to craft and so that is a big help for me um, otherwise I think we are good this one went so fast I didn't even it didn't even take me the hour Jen's not on here yet she usually keeps me yapping <laughs> anyways so if there's anything you would like to see uh, specifically, a specific stamp set uh, or a technique or um, different kind of items that Stampin' Up! sells, if you would like to see anything in specific, let me know and I will do my best to accommodate that. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I will see you again next Wednesday. Talk to you later.